a big story breakdown. It's about the impact that it has for everybody within the city, um, whether they're at the game or not. The Thunder are heading to the playoffs again in Oklahoma City, expecting a large economic impact as fans support and celebrate the team through their postseason run. And Fox 25's Katie Arada tells us the city could see a couple million dollars come in with the two upcoming home playoff games. But if the Thunder keep winning, that impact will continue to grow. Thunder fans are feeling the excitement this week as the team makes its way into the playoffs for the first time in several years. It's been a long time since we've been in this situation, so I think it's an opportunity for everyone to enjoy it. Just get out there, have a great time. It should be just an amazing weekend. And then let's just hope that we, you know, continue to move on through the second round Western Conference and hopefully to the finals this year. The Thunder is scheduled to play their first playoff game at home on Sunday, drawing in thousands of people to downtown Oklahoma City. Well, anytime you have additional games for a professional season, it's going to be a great economic impact of what the city sees and receives. So, you know, we have 41 regular season games. Now we know that we're guaranteed two additional games. So years ago, there was an impact study that said it was about a million dollars per game. So we'll have an, an additional couple of million dollars that come in. Officials say the playoff berth will not only impact the Paycom Center and businesses downtown economically, but also bars and restaurants all over OKC as fans gather to cheer on the thunder together. But it's not just about what's going on in the arena. It's about everyone, you know, going to their favorite bar and sitting down with their friends and, you know, eating and drinking and having a great time watching the game all over the city. Reporting for Fox 25 News, I'm Katie Arata. The NBA playoffs tip off this Sunday at the Paycom Center. The Thunder's opponent not going to be known until the end of the NBA play in tournament this Friday. The game time will be announced later this week as well. But no matter what time the Thunder tip off, businesses and law enforcement say they are prepared. And Fox 25's David Chasanoff has a preview of what you can expect Sunday. David, what's it going to look like out there? Adam, if you're here at the Paycom Center on Sunday, you're definitely going to be seeing a large police presence. Now bars say they're getting ready for rowdy fans who don't have tickets to the big game. The hype for the playoffs is real for fans and downtown businesses. We're just really excited. I mean, we haven't had anything in the last few years that really make Thunder really exciting for everybody, so we're excited to be number one in the West. General Manager of Fassler Hall, Chad Peoples, says his business in Midtown will have drink specials, along with the game playing on all the TVs with the sound on. For a game and series with much higher stakes, Peoples is preparing for the passion from fans who will come out to watch. We're always, always have your head on a swivel and just kind of watching the whole crowd and making sure everybody's being taken care of. For fans who will be at the Paycom Center on game day, Oklahoma City Police says it plans to be there helping with traffic management, crowd control, surveillance, and emergency response if there's a need for it. Dylan Quirk with OKCPD tells Fox 25, our goal is to ensure the overall safety plans are in place to create the safest environment possible for those wishing to attend. If you want legitimate tickets to any of the playoff games, Defense! Oklahoma City Thunder spokesperson Gail Maxwell says you should go through the official Ticketmaster resale site. When you're purchasing tickets for the playoffs, first thing to remember is that tickets are digital. If anyone approaches you with printed tickets, that's a scam. And speaking of tickets, all you can find on Ticketmaster right now are resale tickets. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News. And let's take a look at those resale tickets. Right now, prices on Ticketmaster range from $105 all the way to more than $3,500. These are prices for Game 1, April 21st. You can also find tickets for future games. Go to okcthunder.com slash buy tickets. As the Thunder wait to see who their opponent is for the playoffs, they're also waiting on the announcement for the end of the year awards. Thunder of players, contenders for Rookie of the Year, Most Improved Player, also MVP. But none of that possible without some leadership. And then yesterday, the National Basketball Coaches Association voted the Oklahoma City Thunder head coach, Mark Dagnall, their coach of the year. The award is voted on by all 30 NBA head coaches, none more deserving than Dagnall. Oklahoma City won just 24 games two seasons ago. 
now finishing with 57 wins. The number one seed in the West, just one of two teams in the top five in both offensive and defensive efficiency on the season. As the excitement continues to grow heading into the playoffs, art installations started popping up across the metro. We saw one installation as it was being put together today at Scissortail Park, made up of three 40-foot and one 20-foot shipping containers. It's not the only place we're seeing Thunder Art debuted. The Paycom Center, Omni Hotel, Streetcar, and more are all sporting the home team. It just amps up during playoffs, so we are so grateful for all of our community partners, the businesses and organizations that are getting in, and they are helping us to thunder up this entire city. The new art installation expected to be completed by the end of the night. You can head down to Scissor Tail Park anytime through the playoffs to see it. The Thunder will begin each home game of the playoffs with Thunder up in the park. A pregame event free family friendly festival at Scissor Tail Park Plaza starts with game one on Sunday, April 21st. Thunder up in the park starts three hours before every playoff home game ends about 30 minutes before tip off. Fans can come out. It is completely free and open to the public and we will have fun and activities for all ages, whether it be face painting. There's going to be music. We're going to have rumble. We're going to have the Thunder Girls. You name it. There's going to be a plethora of opportunities to enjoy and get ready to thunder up. During each Thunder Up in the Park, the Thunder will also give away 20 pairs of tickets to that night's home playoff game. Fans 18 and older can get a chance to win tickets by completing digital challenges at the three QR code stations throughout the park plaza. The ticket drawing takes place at the end of the event. Now, the Thunder continuing its tradition of placing a playoff T-shirt on each seat at the Paycom Center for every home game, something the team's done since 2010. And this playoff appearance represents a significant milestone. And in the first home game of round one, the Thunder will distribute its one millionth playoff T-shirt. So if you're going to the game, get there early to join in on this playoff tradition and gear up before the players hit the floor. All the way playoff game days, fans can gather at the Thunder Playoff Patio in Midtown before heading off to their favorite watch party. Playoff Patio located near Northwest 10th and Hudson, open to fans of all ages. Each away game has a different slate of activities and Thunder Playoff merch as well. And the team dropping Thunder capsules in different districts around town. Check these out inside. You'll see some Thunder swag. Where you find one of the capsules, tag Oklahoma City Thunder on social media and the district that you found it in. This is kind of this is just cool to see around town. And Adam, you don't have to go very far oh. because the Thunder wanted you to have your own capsule, what? so you don't have to go looking around for it here. <laughs> here it is. Are you kidding me? Right Open now? It up. Yeah, that yeah. is awesome. Yeah. We've been watching them tight as we've gone through the year. Oh, there's a ton of great stuff. Yeah, this is awesome. A lot of re really awesome goodies in there. <laughs> We got a little, we got some sunglasses. We got a little rumble of bison. This is fantastic. I'll try to keep it all on camera. I'm just kind of coming down from this. This is awesome. This is the secret. Oh, there's <laughs> so, a ton of so, stuff. We'll yeah. see people, see people like texting back and forth and whispering <laughs> and they get all freaked out. This is great. Well, thanks to the Oklahoma City Thunder, man. And I think we'll have a, we'll have a lot of cool stuff we'll be able to share in this. And take, get a look at all that, folks. So keep your eye out for these. Let's get a look at the lid again so you know what you're looking for. It's really cool. They're going to be posted out all around town. What a great way to help get people looking around, get them in the playoff spirit. You know, I was so freaked out. <laughs> I could smell something in the air. I thought something was up. I had no <laughs> idea what was going on. So that was your big story breakdown. I'm going to go over here. Fe <laughs> playoff fever. We are in full swing. You can learn more about the upcoming playoffs and the impact they're expected to have on OKCFox.com. And if you missed any part of the big story breakdown, you can find it all on our YouTube channel. Scan the QR code on your screen or search OKC Fox.